today I'm making a hammered metal mobile with Maker Crate. It's Maker Crate time again! So, don't worry, Lily will be down later for the actual project, but I will be doing the unboxing myself. Here we have our Maker Crate box, Hammered Metal Mobile. Let's see what we get. Ooh, pretty. All right, so we have our inspiration guide. Gives you a couple of ideas of what to make, some history. And it also gives you a link to the instructions. Handy. This appears to be, ooh. Here's our jump rings, our little metal shapes, and the wire. I thought we were gonna have to bend the wire, but it is bent already. I like this project. <gasps> Just fun. No work. Safety glasses. So no shards of metal stab us in our eyeballs. We get one little wooden base. We get, these must be the hangers. Two hangers, we've got gold and silver. Gold and silver. And then we have the heavy part. We have our texture hammer. Oh, it's got little squares on one side. And kind of pointy on the other side. We have tweezers, pliers, and a bench block. So something to go underneath so that my dear sweet table stays in good condition. Okay, so sometimes I open maker crates and I think it's gonna go one way and it's good. It's actually way, way harder. But this one, I think it may be easier than I thought, or at least a little bit more straightforward, but I have not yet watched the instructions, so I could be very wrong. But this seems like a pretty straightforward, but you know, fun, like a design activity rather than a super hard work activity. We'll see. Okay, so here is everything we need. We'll need to get another pair of safety glasses for when we work on our project. And, oh, so we will be making two, but only one of them will be able to actually stand in the little wooden stand. Theoretically, we could take a piece of wood and just stick the, the, we might do that. So it comes with one piece of wood and a threaded rod for two threaded rods, so you can choose, but we might take just a regular base of wood, drill a little hole, and then stick the other one in. Then, I mean, depending on how many of these we have, we could maybe make more. We could make a necklace. We could make, who knows? So we'll come back after we know what we're doing, and then we'll do it. Now I have everything I need. Okay, so the first step is to plan out what you want your mobile to look like. So we don't need this stuff yet. So we'll peel open, yeah, you peel that one. Let's organize them nicely like they did in okay. the video. You do that. All right, so I'll take out all of our wire also. We got the silver pre-twisted wire and we have gold pre-twisted wire. And we don't need jump rings yet. I'll put them here. So later when I'm like, where did I put the jump rings? They're down there. Okay, there are a lot of different ways that you can choose to arrange your pieces. You can make them in one little line. You can Which split you think is them. Like yeah, I mean. It's, it's a look. You can split them into two little lines using just one of these guys. You could split them like this. This so is what I'm going to do. The one big one and then split that. You could also do another split over here. You can do it like this and make it look cool. There are a gajillion different combinations that you can do. But to us, the same thing appealed to us, of course like we're related or something. 
So we're going to use the big one on top and then the small one on one or the other side. You should do it on a, the other side then, me. Okay, so starting like this, basically we'll just rearrange the little shapes until we come up with something that we like. So after fooling around for a little while, we have come up with some designs that we think will work. Of course, while we're putting them together, if they don't really balance right, we can still move things around. But this is our plan. And we made a little sketch so that we wouldn't forget while we're smashing things with a hammer. So next, we're going to need our hammer and our bench block. And we'll do some testing on these two extra pieces. They're kind of small, but... They're a little small, so we're going to have to work on our aim. And we'll see how that works. Let's get our stuff. Now, while we were fooling around with our shapes, we did notice that we were kind of limited because only some of the pieces have two holes, which means that you can connect them on the top and the bottom. And some of them only had one. So this is an end piece. It can't really be anything else unless you can drill metal. So that's something to keep in mind. There are a lot of combinations, but Maybe not endless combinations because you're limited a little bit. So we've got our block. It's really heavy, actually. It's solid. It's pretty solid. And it's nice and uh, so. foamy, I guess, on the bottom. So it doesn't ruin your table. I appreciate that. Thumbs up. <laughs> so now we are going to get ready for safety. OK, so these little tweezers are rubberized or they're really fun covered in rubber yeah they're really kind of sticky and exciting to keep our fingers nice and safe we'll hold them on one side you can either hold it press it down with the tweezer part or hold it on the side but then they say you're not supposed to hammer it on the side you're so. not supposed to hammer it on the side but if you hold it on the side you can work on the flat part of your, your bench block so would you like to try it out first? Sure. So let me point out there are like a grid. Like a waffle maker? Like a waffle maker on one side. And then there's sort of a pointy, rounded, very light cone shape on the other side. So you, make so you a can do little circles or you can do little squares. You can do some on one side, some on the other. You can concentrate a lot of hits in one area and then expand out and kind of make a gradient. We thought that looked really cool, so we're probably going to try that. We'll see if it's easy. I don't know. But now we test. Hey, it works! I hope so. So that's cool. See, I like this side on mine better with the with the squares. Mm. The one that I did, I like it better. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, I like yours better. Interesting. So that's kind of cool. So once you test out your different textures, you can decide if you want all of your pieces to be textured. If you want to just texture maybe a certain color or just a couple different ones. I don't know. We'll have to think about that a little bit. And then we will probably put our earplugs in and smash some metal. But first we have to think for just a sec. So I think that we're planning to have some kind of texture on all of the metal because I think that they look kind of nicer with texture on them, but maybe we'll do sort of a gradient and leave a little bit of just plain shine and do some texture on like the other side or something like that. So. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> you, you can judge later on. So with that being said, it's time for some smashing. Oh, that's an interesting plan, Lily. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to try something a little bit weird, I've hmm. decided to leave one plane and try to paint it 
with nail polish. So, I guess let's see how that looks. But first, we've got to do it and let it dry. Maybe a couple coats. I left more of mine plain. Yeah, and it's an interesting contrast between the you know, plain shiny and the glittery hammered ones. Mm -hmm. What else did we learn while we were while we were working? Well, don't hammer too hard, because otherwise it basically flattens out the other side. Yes, so if you wanted to do both sides, which is what we're doing, because, you know, it hangs, so it could theoretically twist a little bit, you do have to flip it over, do the other side, then flip it back, do some more, because it, it flattens out the other side when you're working on the other side. Yeah, it kind of gets <laughs> bent when you work on one yeah. side. Yeah, and then it gets a little bit bent if you're working just on one side. Especially with the roundy one, not so much with the squares because they were flat. Yeah. So. It was definitely easier to work with the squares. I liked, I and it was funner to do. Um, the circle, it was kind of annoying because there was only one. Yes, so you so had to do you one had to, like, And had to, had to have it perfectly straight up and down so it didn't have like the, the edges on it. That's true. The squares did what you expected every time. Whereas the circles sometimes were little half circles or sometimes they were lines if you got the edge. Yeah. But that's cool. I mean, that's variation too. But if you had done it like the squares, it would be harder to get the nice gradient that the circles look good in because then one hammer there'd like be a whole circle square. Circles. Circle, circles. 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 <laughs> oh, it looks so good. You guys know I like a little color. Mm -hmm. So... Here's some color. All right, we'll let this dry because I am not trying to attach a jump ring while it is sopping wet. No. All right, maybe another coat. All right, we'll let this dry for a little while and then we'll be back to attach our jump rings and put the whole thing together. Excellent. So now it's time to attach everything with jump rings. So even the wire needs to be attached to the big wire because otherwise it would uh, it would hang this way, which is an option. But if you want the whole thing to hang kind of straight, you'll use a jump ring to attach them together, but you don't need a jump ring on the top because the hook faces this way. So I'm sure that you all know how to open a jump ring, but we will show you anyway. So instead of pulling them open, which I know is certainly a thing that you might want to do, you just push on one side of the jump ring ugh, while holding the other side. That way it's easier to put back together when you have everything on the... So, scoop up one of these, scoop up one of these, put it together. Ta-da! Earrings. Now, speedy time. Of course, the problem now is you have to figure out, do I want it this way? Do I want it to hang this way? More thinking. Ah, oh, really? We can do it. Ta-da! Ta they even kind of balance. Yeah. I think it's very exciting. It looks so good. Thank you. I like the little color and it's not that hard. I mean, it took a little while to dry. I'm not sure it's 100% dry yet, but I don't like to wait. So it's on. <laughs> you could always add a little bit of a touch up later on. But it's, it's, it's whatever. Yours is cool too. I like how some of them are flat and shiny and some of them are sparkly, sparkly. Thank you. All right, let's attach the base. So the next thing that we do is attach the base. Do you want your base to match with your jump rings or not match with your jump rings? Not match. Okay. So because the kit only comes with one base, I just found a piece of wood and drilled it, drilled a little hole in it that's the same size. Here you go. Okay. That's the same size as this. You've got to make it centered, Mom. I know. It's not quite. I don't want to break it. Yeah, centered. Ta da! Ha 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 That's cool. That looks so good. Cool! 
These are really cool. Yeah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> These are cool. And they're not... It's not an overly complicated maker crate. It's yeah, it's straightforward. Like afternoon. This was only an afternoon. I know. I'm very exciting. And I feel like you could do this without subscribing to Maker Crate at all. Of course, I do enjoy Maker Crate, but if you wanted to try this right now and you didn't want to like get online and wait and wait and wait for it to come, all you would need is some kind of a base. Yeah, base with a hole in it. You can add a hole. <laughs> Oh, you don't even actually need a base, you could just hang. Yeah. So if you did, if you couldn't find a, a thick wire to make the hangy bit, a little coat hanger, totally work. coat hanger? But yeah, I mean, a coat hanger and a base if you wanted to hang it. Otherwise, you could hang it with a string or a fishing line or something like that. And then just some like metal and whatever. Yeah, you can find Attaching little metal things. blanks at the craft store and like little hammers to give them texture jump rings and wire are yeah, really really easy to find and what I, was trying to say. I mean if you wanted to try it with something other than metal maybe you're not quite ready for that you could cut out bits of your recycling you could paint it with paint or with nail polish i mean i feel like the possibilities are kind of endless you could do all sorts of exciting things you could make a you could make a really cool mobile with paper just paper and punch it and then use jump rings or I mean, string. String. <laughs> Jump rings are nice though because they do let it hang nicely. Mm -hmm. But this is definitely something that you could replicate on your own without too much fancy stuff. Yeah. Which I think is great. I mean, it's really easy and it ended up looking pretty cool. I think that any way you make this, it would look really cool. Yeah, unless you did it with that one. It, that way you didn't like that, but some people might really like it just a one hanging kind of a situation. I really like how this is it's like a circle and the top one is like all textured and then the bottom one is painted and like smooth. It's really cool. Yeah I like that one little half circle of color. I think that that is uh, I enjoy that quite a bit but I also like yours with just the mixed metals. You could do them just with silver or just with gold but we figured we would get the whole use out of it and use just everything all at once. Yeah because like just with silver I mean it's, it's it's nice, but I think it's better with both. A little mix, give it some contrast. Anyway, I think this is awesome, and I think we should definitely do it again sometime. Of course. Yeah. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video and you are not subscribed yet, you can do that right underneath the video and click the all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. We have, I can't even tell you how many maker crates stocked away because somebody is in school all the time and doesn't have time to do the long complicated maker crates with me. Sorry, I mean you could just have me not go to school, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, that's frowned upon. But new videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So stay tuned and until the next video, be awesome and we'll see you then. Bye! Bye!